I'm living my best life. I ain't going back and forth with no bot. Man, what it is with y'all, man? It's your boy. Young Don, Young Don, Young Don. Alright, so look, family. Um, I'm going to get straight to this video. Something very serious is going on. Something very, very, very big is about to happen. I really don't know what it is going to be. But I want all you guys to realize something. This is the time to be serious. Right now, this is your time to stop playing, stop procrastinating, stop bullshitting. This is our time to be serious. I feel like... I don't know if y'all feel it. I feel the shift. I feel the change in the air. Emotions have been high. How y'all doing? Emotions have been high. Everything just been acting crazy lately. Everything just been looking different, feeling different. Clouds ain't even the clouds no more. I don't know what's going on. The sun's definitely happening up there. As above, so below. It's a spiritual world, man. Everything happens up there before it happens down here. And we've been reincarnating our whole life for this very moment. These elites are getting defeated. We seen it with our own eyes. But the thing about somebody that gets defeated, they're going to keep fighting and keep fighting and keep fighting. A lot of villains, what they do is they keep fighting until they make their escape. And that's their plan because they know they can no longer live here. They know they're no longer welcome here. It's a spiritual world. It's a spiritual warfare. We've been at that. And what they realize is they realize that they can no longer live here. As I was talking about on my Instagram, right now, China is flooded. We know China is flooded. We know what comes from China. We know about all the food, the clothing, etc. The U.S. been in debt with China for the longest. So you, that knows, you know we depend on them. But what you got to realize is Mother Nature is tired. It's tired of allowing shit like that to happen. Everything is changing, y'all. I, I promise you, when I tell you everything is changing, something big is about to happen. I always told you guys, I don't know whether it's going to be a storm or something. I know they're going to pull out a storm. It's going to be catastrophic. It's going to be something we ain't never seen before. Usually, hurricanes mostly probably just hit one place, maybe two, three, four. I think this thing going to touch a lot of places. Might be an earthquake. It's something that's going to be crazy. Something about to happen. Crazy. And we got to be ready for it. We the chosen ones. We as the chosen ones, we got to be ready for it. So what we have to do now, we have to start planting our own food. We have to completely de-plug ourselves from this matrix. Completely cut off dependency on the government. We have to grow our we have to grow our own food so we don't have to depend on other people. Cause once that food goes out, people are gonna be looking for something to eat. And make sure y'all get some guns or something. Get some ammunition. Cause once these crazy motherfuckers start getting hungry, they don't got food, they're gonna be running in your crib looking for some food. And you got to be ready for that. I wish a nigga would come in my shit. Dog. Kids in there. Over you. But it's going to get to a point like that. They've been sending us signs, whether it was the Purge, Hunger Games. They've been sending us signs forever. They've been sending us signs forever through the movies about what was going to happen. Everybody looking at Trump as the bad person. But he, he, don't, he don't even like these vaccines. It's always the people that they quote unquote say is bad be the good guys. And the ones that they say portray as good be the bad guys. Y'all don't see that? How they let the first black president 
be 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 the president? How did why did they kill him? But 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 racism still goes on. I want y'all to ask that. They let the first black president be a president. He ruined their whole streak. Think about that. He ruined a whole streak of white presidents, and he came around and fucked everything up. You know, they still ain't let no female in office, but they let a black guy in first. They they didn't let a white woman in, but they let a black guy in. Think about that. Be real. Think about that. They let a black guy in before a white lady. But slavery's still around. But the black community, they love to worship Obama. I've been there, so... I used to fuck with Barack until I seen him for what he really was. And we got to see people for who they really are, not from what the media portrays. Media loves to portray Trump a bad person. But ever since Trump's been in office, he's been calling out bullshit. He's been saying news was fake. He's been calling out all these inflated COVID numbers. He's been really doing things that no president ever done. Obama hasn't said the news was fake. Obama wouldn't have told us that COVID numbers were inflated. If Obama was in office during COVID-19, we would be fucked up right now. We would still be on lockdown. And them 5G towers would have been flourishing, boy. Tell me I'm lying. Am I right? Am I right, though? There's so much going on, y'all. So much going on. But, um, I want y'all to realize what's about to happen. Food shortages are coming. It's time for you to realize who you're around. Is your family going to love you during these hard times? Are they going to help you? Are they going to raise your vibrations or lower it? You got to realize you got to be selfish sometimes. And I'm not talking about the negative connotation that they put on the word selfish. I'm not talking about the worldly view of selfish. I'm talking about the selfish definition of when you love yourself. Are you going to do what's best for you? Or are you going to be a people pleaser and just stay around those people because they've been there? You love them. Realize when time gets hard, you got to be around the people that's going to uplift you. That's going to build you. That's going to know what to do. That's going to know everything before it happens. If you are the smartest in the room, you are in the wrong room. So what? What if you locked in? Your family don't know about the shit. You got to inform them, of course. If they don't accept it, then oh well. But sometimes we got to be selfish. We got to love ourselves. We got to love ourselves. Protect your family, of course. Give them the information. Plant that seed. If they plant it, it's on them. But we can't save everybody. Especially with the with what's about to go on. Or what's about to happen. Now see, they don't give a fuck about us, bro. The elites, these elites don't give a fuck about us. They give a fuck about their self. They feed off our energy. They feed off of our fear. That's their rush. That's their drug. Our fear is their drug. But we... We got protection. I promise we're not out here alone. I promise we're not out here alone. We always been stronger together, so let's keep working together, y'all. And don't be scared, man. We're gonna get through this. It ain't nothing to be scared about. I'm damn sure not scared. We've seen so much in our life and we made it. Sometimes we gotta pat ourselves on the back and thank our spirit guides. Also, thank the Creator for forming the path that we walk down every day through this thing we call life to get to where we're at now. We the chosen ones, y'all. We gotta realize this is the moment we all been waiting for. This is the moment we've been incarnating our whole life for. This right here. So we gotta love every moment, accept every moment, and really understand what's really going on. And when we understand, we have to see how is this going to affect us? What is this going to do for us? How can we be prepared for the ascension? It's already happening now. Everybody believes it's physical. No. It's what your reality is going to be. Your reality is going to be this. It's been a spiritual world warfare. We're in it. It's been happening. 
when we finally get to be awake to realize what's really going on. We're no longer asleep. We are the chosen ones. We know what's really going on, family. I want to send each of you guys love, man. I hope you guys keep pushing. No, we are going to keep pushing. We're not giving up. And you know, I'm not giving up on you, so don't give up on yourself, family. I want to send more peace, more positivity, love, and namaste. Young guy out.